It is a holiday tradition for so many families as we sit by the fire, Warming stand up. by the fire, <laughs> pretending there's heat coming from this fire. All Dreaming of heat. Yeah, right. <laughs> Although Thanksgiving hasn't even happened yet, a Christmas carol is almost back at the Clarence Brown Theater. Reporter Katie Inman got a sneak peek inside the production before it hits the stage. This has always been a dream for me. This stage feels like home for Joseph Corum. I think my younger self would be over the moon to hear that I would get to be here today. Here is the production of A Christmas Carol at the Clarence Brown Theater. We came every year uh, for about 10 years before shutdown um, as sort of a, a family tradition. Now the UT sophomore is switching his seat for the spotlight. The main role that I will be playing in this production is Fred, Scrooge's nephew. Joseph's face isn't the only new piece in this production. I'm Amelia Peterson, and I'm the director for A Christmas Carol at Clarence Brown Theater. For her first show here, this Bearden High School alum is pouring out her heart. It still feels like home in many ways. And a full circle moment. Um, it was the first thing back last year um, after COVID. So this year we are using the same script, but we're adding lots of magic to the storytelling. There will be projections, more movement and singing than years prior. If we can honor the tradition while also opening up our imagination to play and take risks and do things that people might not expect, then we end up finding some really fun things to work with. Along with the props, there's more reinforcements in the wings. This is the first year we've ever had a team of understudies, and they have really been the heroes of this entire process. Holding the show together, though, is the costume crew. We give the actors the context for the characters that they're playing, and we tell you who they are and what their place is in the world of Christmas Carol. Melissa Caldwell Wedig takes pride in mending the tradition. And this is my 14th. My first one was in 2008. Always bringing in tasteful touches. This year there's going to be more movement and dancing. There's uh, we're bringing a lot more sort of dynamic things, especially to the ghost's action, like the ghost of Christmas present. She's the glamorous ghost, a role Joseph has his heart set on. Really, I just want to take a handful of glitter and throw it in Scrooge's face. <laughs> the family tradition will live on for him publicly from November 25th to December 18th. His mom will watch with wonder. I'm very nervous about it. Uh, I want to make sure that everything is just perfect for her and that it's the experience that she has always wanted. Either way, he's home. In Knoxville, I'm Katie Inman.